some serious gourmet shit. Welcome to the future. A place where you can find anything you desire. If the burner gangs don't find you first. Where the fastest racers are artificial. And if you're human. Don't stand a chance. Star Circuit. I was waiting for that window to go away. What's up? It's uh, Sunday. <clears throat> Sunday, Cup of Joe stream. Um, starting it with uh, a new clip. I, I I need to get some more clips in here. There's uh, no reason why I don't have puns. Puns and clips. And uh, Anyway, make it a little more fun. That's the idea. Uh, so, <laughs> Sunday is always a little bit different every time. Uh, depending on how much sleep I got, what I was doing yesterday. Uh, but yeah, we've got a few things to go through today because it's going to be, um, I don't know, There, I saw some cool, there's some video game like release news because of uh, Summerfest. So there's a trailer for TMNT uh, that like is like a throwback to the old games. So that's awesome. But also want to talk about layouts. I'm doing Star Circuit 2 layouts. You just saw the trailer for Star Circuit 1, uh, Chapter 1. So it's it's along the same lines, but bigger um, and, you know, more more of what you want to see. Like uh, in the first chapter, it's a lot of sci-fi. So I had to do a lot of um, kind of introductions. So the second book, you really get to dive in. I feel like the second book is like when it really starts almost. So that's what's happening. Um, I know I have the web store pinned to the chat. Um, and so you can go to the web store and buy the book later on. Definitely do so. It's uh, it's a cool shop. I'll, I'll bring up the shop later. The shop is full of different things. I'm going to put uh, original art up there as well. But for now, it's the book. It's the poster. And you get to see some of my random uh, other commissions and art. So it's a good place to go. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been an, an interesting transition from Indiegogo, which is the crowdfund site, to uh, my web store. Uh, and I think it's it's working. Um, we've gotten a few sales. However, um, got to push it even further. I may even stop doing um, one of the streams, either Art Bros. Eh, it's hard to it's hard to cancel Art Bros on Wednesday. It's a good time. Um, or this this show once in a while too, because I do want to put out videos, and I think it's what my channel's missing. Um, it's what really started my channel. I I wanted to show my process um, and talk about it and and do interesting things with like video editing for comic book art. Um, and so that's where I wanted to go with a lot of the channel that you're on. Uh, speaking of, like and subscribe. <laughs> Smash the like. And um, also, uh, you know, let me know if you like the stream or which stream you think is um, the coolest uh, or maybe what you want to see on the channel. But I've got this cool, um, we'll say, it seems like a, a unique way to look at um, some comic art and in particular famous artists signatures and how that applies to like their art I think it's a unique approach so um, I have this video I want to make and I have a lot of the ideas I just need to actually make it um, so let's check out the chat we somebody's popped in here collision bomb what's up good morning good morning collision uh, it's a slow morning indeed uh, not many people up here but that's all good um, Sometimes, no, sometimes it's good to just uh, talk to yourself <laughs> for a while. No, it's actually a good for, um, I feel like I was told by somebody on YouTube. I know that's not anything, but it's a good practice to like talk to yourself as if you're doing a podcast because you're 
it kind of builds the skill of uh, just like speaking your thoughts and entertaining yourself almost um, is a good way to um, get better at the streaming stuff. Uh, Amherst is here. Amherst says, uh, so uh, no insult today, plain and nice, uh, so don't push it. I won't. Um, and I hope your costumes are coming out great. You're doing costume sketches, which now since you're doing the you're doing the physical stuff too, like crocheting and sewing. If you're actually making the stuff, I hope that's going well too. Um, or not. Maybe I just want to <laughs> throw it right back at you and, and I say, I hope, I hope those dresses uh, come out hideous. Um, but no, I, I'm sure. Actually, I don't know why I assumed they were dresses. Um, that could be anything, I'm sure. Uh, what do you make in Amherst? Let me know. So I have a... A little bit of coffee not much left um, I'm a little more pepped up because I went through two cups of coffee already and I've uh, been watching this this turtles game that uh, is a throwback to like turtles in time and the old arcade games anyway I took a re recording and I figured we'd look at it for a minute um, I'm sure I know me and Jeremy like this stuff there's tons of people that love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, you know, I was raised on it. I think it's recently I talked about it and I thought it was like, I don't know, if you consider all the the wide range of things I'm really into, um, TMNT, like, I think is almost like at a core of my, my foundation of like, you know, my identity almost. It's like, um, it kind of spawned my interest in martial arts and just, you know, storytelling as far as like, uh, like characters, you know, like brothers or, you know, people that are close and how they relate. And it was cool how they, they characterized that even in a cartoon, um, you know, and each one had a personality. It was like the first introduction to that when I was a kid. So, um, pretty cool, pretty cool that, um, team NT is still going strong. I sold three dresses. Damn. I knew, I knew what you're doing. I, I already, I already knew you were doing dresses somehow through the connection, the interweb connection. Um, hell yeah. So Buddy Ward's here. He says, uh, morning, Joe. What's up, dude? Uh, good to have you. We're, we're, we're going to look at some uh, Ninja Turtle shit. Um, I don't know if you've seen this Shredder's Revenge game, but it looks like uh, an awesome thing. I'm pretty sure they did uh, the Scott Pilgrim. I don't know how you guys feel about Scott Pilgrim, but they did the uh, Scott Pilgrim game. And I have a story about that game. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to tell it on stream, uh, but I'll tell it uh, outside if, if anyone wants to know a story about the Scott Pilgrim game. But anyway, that developer is making the TMNT game, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's let's play some of this. And I think I, I, I pre-recorded it, so I'm going to be able to watch it along with you. All right? Yeah. So I flipped it. So don't worry about like the, the labels and whatnot on it. But... Yeah, they're going to move right to left instead of left to right. It's going to look a little weird. However, just now I flipped it so we don't get um, a copyright strike that was too immediate. You know, I don't want to get pulled immediately. You know what I mean? So, Buddy Lord says, I'm into martial arts too. I do BJJ and boxing. A little jam uh, use on the side. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not super familiar with that one. Um, BJJ, obviously, and boxing, obviously. I did a little more time in my history, but right now I am a um, karate dude. I, I started Shorin Ryu, and I'm back to Shorin Ryu, and in between that I was a school black belt, like a, that means like a young black belt in Taekwondo, and I don't know if you guys can hear me over the, the music, but uh, or the game soundtrack, but yeah, uh, my history has been like karate, Taekwondo, uh, karate and then muay thai and then karate so mostly karate uh in my history uh, but fun stuff fun good times i never tried bjj i'm i'm like i'm not a fan of of getting sweaty and up and close and rubbing dudes uh, even though that's like the most important way to defend yourself um i realize that however uh it maybe i should just do the gi some gi the, the old traditional BJJ because uh, I feel like um, you know I, I guess with the gi it's a little it's a little less skin on skin but it's definitely still 
up close and personal there. You should totally do a voiceover following of Cobra Kai show. <laughs> Maybe I will. Um, yeah, thanks for playing it nice. I'm um, maybe I'm feeling sensitive today, so I'm I really appreciate the the niceties. Um, <laughs> so we're watching this video here. Uh, I I don't know if they ever bring up. I know here's Splinter, but they announced that Casey Jones is in it, and the video that I was watching before this has Casey Jones fighting, and it's legit awesome. Uh, looks like you can play up to six people at a time. That's nuts. Uh, I, it's almost too chaotic, but I feel like if you're a party and you're having a fun, fun time, this is a probably a fun old game. Yo, um, Immortal Rising, did I miss you? Sorry, bro. Uh, glad to have you here, dude. Um, anyway, this looks awesome. Looks like a fun-ass time to have, uh, you know, old-school style beat-em-up beat -em games are real fun. Um, anyway, Casey Jones is in this somewhere. Maybe not in this video, but he's in here. Um... I know he's in the screen card at the end, but his moves look so awesome. He has got this. He's got this one special where he he hits um, he hits the enemy like a golf uh, player. Except like when he does it, he he transforms into like the stereotypical golf player, like visor and polo, and he <laughs> takes the swing. It's it's hilarious. Um, that sold me. Uh, I don't know why my camera keeps going more and more. The opposite direction that I needed to. Uh, all right. Anyway, he's on the screen card, so we know he's there. We have, we have to. I know he's going to be in this game. Uh, there he is in the background. He's got the mask and everything. Hell yeah. So, and this is pretty interesting art. I like this uh, kind of glowy gradient thing they're going. Uh, it's kind of like very similar to kind of what I try to do, like very minimalistic shadow uh, multiply layers when I do coloring, and then really hit a one or two highlights to really pop whatever I'm trying to color. It's definitely, I dig it because it's more my style. Um, fun stuff though. Uh, this game looks legit. Shredder's Revenge, I know it's flipped, but it does say Shredder's Revenge. Um, if Jeremy was in the chat, he would he would definitely be as stoked as I am. Um, pretty fun, pretty fun. Uh, we're gonna go through uh, layouts i want to talk about layouts today and then a little bit later i'm going to i'm going to bring up broken 2 broken 2 launches in like uh two days what is it 12th it's the 12th so three days it launches on wednesday um broken 2 that's that's kenneth roqueford mitographia the dude the champion uh of art uh is launching a new book um i have the first one it was a great read and it's one of the best looking books you can possibly find on on the interwebs and in print. Uh, Replicant says, uh, oh, it doesn't look like they included Slash in the game. Yeah, who knows? I feel like in this day and age, uh, they have to leave room for the DLC. You know what I mean? You got to think there's going to be some DLC. Like throw in, you know, allow, maybe it's unlockable. Maybe you can get Krang and, and Shredder and, you know, uh, some of the more unique kind of fighters. Uh, we already get to play Shredder and, or not Shredder, uh, Splinter and April. So that seems like a cool twist upon the old games anyway. Um, that's, uh, yeah, I'm stoked for any and all of the above. So, um, dude, my screen is really freaking out. I don't know why. Um, something about, I, do I need to just drop StreamYard entirely? Because it, it is really not liking something about my video like drivers or, or whatever i don't i don't know i'm i want to say codex but that, that word could totally not even mean uh what i'm thinking it means um definitely not a computer science uh, even though i am a computer science major technically uh, i have a degree in computer animation which is for some reason under computer science nobody thought this through um it is a bs and not a ba who knows why? Because I guess it's kind of technical. Um, anyway, let's bring up let's bring up some layouts, dude. Um, I'm working on Star Circuit layouts, and I want to show how I do my my folder setup here. Um, and hopefully, this is not going to give away anything. But I'm going to bring it up here. Let's see. Maybe I can just bring up my other window. Let's save this one out. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Uh, I'm going to stop this other remove from studio. That way, maybe um, I'm not using all the bandwidth. Okay, so computer science is great. Uh, more math than artists are probably used to, but a fantastic degree to have. Well, that's what I'm saying. When I went to full sale, which is um, almost like pretend school for technical and the uh, you know art entertainment industry. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like they they do what they have to. I definitely took electives and psych classes and things that you normally need they throw in there to make it a balanced uh bachelor degree and so i took all the the dumb i wrote the papers I took the classes however it was at this full full sale school which is very um i don't know how to put it like uh it's bare bones as far as a balanced degree it's very very focused on just the the nuts and bolts of what you're trying to do so um, I don't know if computer science always has to have programming in it, but there is no programming in some of these programs uh, or for for full sale, at least. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have gone through it. <laughs> so I, I moved to like this degree in, on the, in the first place for for art anyway. So uh, here goes. Let's. Um, uh, let's get past the college talk. It's, it's bringing up. It's bringing up old memories. <laughs> I have to, I have to shut them out. Um, let's bring up the uh, new Huion tablet. Share the screen. Huion. Um, I'm working on Star Circuit Two. This is Star Circuit Two. Doing a, a page. This is doing a page of. Um, this is Hip, Hip Terran, which which she's uh, a side character. But kind of like a very like in my in my story, it's very balanced. I feel like it's very Game of Thrones esque in that way, where a lot of the characters feel like main characters. I want it to feel at least that way, where um, you're not really sure which is the main character. It's, it's debatable in some ways. Um, so that's kind of how I want it to feel like. Even though Atlas is the main dude, he's going to be the one doing the race. But in racing, uh, the whole team is kind of the the focus. Should be anyway. Buddy Ward's in here saying, uh, I like getting a degree from a vocational program. Fulfill the absolute requirements of said degree, but focus on the vocation. Yeah, that's pretty much how they go. It's it's like they kind of monopolized on this needing a degree kind of thing. They were ahead of the curve on that. It's more like a vocational school that merged into this kind of accredited state kind of feeling thing even though it's vocational and and high end <clears throat> so uh so yes uh, every character has their own story and their own pro uh and is their own protagonist uh, with their own goals and prime wants i yeah i that's a good way to think but not i feel like a lot of stories don't um in the final cut they don't have it show that way you know what i mean did I have to do any sailing? Dear man, I didn't have to do any sailing. I, I wish I... I mean, I think their mascot's a plane and not even a ship. Um, but I didn't get to... I didn't even fly no planes. I didn't get to fly any uh, ships. Um, could they sail any ships? None of that. Um, however, yeah, they, the, the protagonist is uh, like a focus. Like, I think... But he's right in that every character in your story probably has this main character feel. Um, but a lot of the final cut will give this, uh, you know, you'll cut scenes and give more screen time to the main guy uh, for focus purposes. And a lot of people, depending on your story, um, like Star Wars is one of those that we're talking about where it's it's about Luke, but it's based almost. Uh, Slick Rick says, uh, have you tried Wacom to compare with Huion? I've used Wacom before, and Wacom's uh, Cintiq 13, I think I've tried before. However, that was before they moved We paired the Wacom 13, whatever, to um, uh, what am I using now? Oh, no, the iPad. When I moved from Wacom to iPad, it was a huge jump. The, the iPad is obviously not as etched glass, but the resolution was so much higher that I couldn't refuse going to the iPad. However, now I need Photoshop and I need stuff that's on the main Macintosh, uh, you know, 
the local PC, if you will. And so I had to switch back to the, the to the tablet to get all of Photoshop's benefits. Um, but looking back on it, I think Huion does just about everything that Wacom does uh, in a similar way. Don't think there's a problem or any, uh, an issue there. Uh, before I read that, uh, b -Rose, what's up? b -Rose is here hanging out. Um, we're going to be bringing up and talking about these layouts. I'm going to show you how I go through some things. Uh, it might be a good use of your, uh, I don't know, it might be a good use of your uh, time as far as like a storyteller to see someone else's approach. I'm not here to preach, uh, you know, this is the method that should be done. It's more like I'm kind of accidentally falling into the method that works best for me through writing over the, the little bit of time I have been. Um, and, you know, maybe it helps you. So, um, and Buddy Ward saying, uh, that's the difference between a good writer and a great writer, finding all those loose threads, putting them together in the end. That's part of dissolving critical suspension of belief. Yeah, it's, 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 and obviously I don't, I preach it, but I don't do it perfectly or anywhere near a masterful level. I don't. Um, don't know what's going on with my internet. Who knows? Uh, Spectrum, get on the ball, bro. Jeez, it is the most. Uh, dude, I have Wi-Fi turned off on my on my computer, so it, it has to be using the landline. Am I right? What's going on here? <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, anyway, so um, that's what I was going to say. It was the, uh, what was it? the threads. All the threads you're talking about, the different characters, are good to bring together. However, you kind of have to graph it out to like really know where they stand. Um, I tried doing it where I just kept it in the cloud and, and kept it very, um, I don't know, I don't say organic, it's not really organic, it's just like um, did it by intuition rather than by plotting it. And then plotting it, you're able to like make different choices if you really see like, you might be able to see the trends just like a stock market. You might, if you graph it out, you can de definitely then see the um, positions everybody's in. Oh, like at, at this one point in the story, the main character's at a low point. And then you can also see that this other person's at a high point and you can juxtapose things together. And you might be able to see trends like a stock market analyst, you know, in your story. Uh, oh, Zade's here. What's up, dude? You missed uh, us going through um, some TMNT stuff. The Shredder's Revenge releases soon, dude. And I needed you to be here to hype it with me. Um, we'll hype it on Wednesday. Uh, Slick Rick, you got any other tabs open or downloading anything? Let me check it out. Um, I do, but I'll close one of them. All I have is the sign up page for Mighty Graphia. That's all I have. The rest is just local stuff. I'm double checking, making sure I don't have some sort of download going on. Um, I don't think so. I closed the one thing. Hopefully it, hopefully it helps. Um, hopefully I'm not roboting too much. Um, let's see here. Amorous, uh, I really, I realized my Wacom isn't working with my computer. It may be time to upgrade about that time. So you might want to check on Huey on the one I'm using right now. It's, uh, like half the price of Wacom, you know, it's a good way to go. Uh, buddy Ward saying Rowling made graphs and charts to keep track of her characters. Yeah, it's, I think it's the best way to go. Um, I, man, I wish I had, I might still have it. Let me check. I have it somewhere. I post about it. I posted about it a while, a while ago. I uh, wonder if I still have one. I did it in Procreate. Maybe it's in my, my backup files for Procreate. Oh, let's go this way. I don't want to dox myself, guys. So... I'm also working on character figure studies. Let's go this way. You know what I'm looking up, guys? Um, there's this thing that storyboard artists use. It's a graph of not only arcs, but sub arcs. And that's what we're talking about here. How do you bring up sub arcs and make them work for uh, like the entirety of the story? Um, I forget how we... Uh, he was on storyboardart.org, and that's uh, like a mentorship. And on there, we did a study of how things really kind of culminate. And uh, subplots 
That's what I was looking for. Subplots kind of add up in a different way than the main plot. Um, and if only I could show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, I saved it out before. I broke down a movie. I think you guys seen the, the movie Gattaca, maybe? I don't know what's going on on my screen. I see it glitching out. Hmm. Where is it? It's not in my pit. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, I switched over to a new computer, so none of my files are in the right in the right area anymore. It's a bummer. All right, buddy. Got to go. Need to dump a month's salary into inflated groceries. Yeah, dude, it is crazy. I tried, dude. I tried to <laughs> just get some burgers yesterday, and dude, burgers are. You, can you find a six dollar burger without going to Walmart anymore, you, or or, or uh, like McDonald's? I think the minimum is like a ten dollar burger now. Yeah, Gattaca, that's the one. So I broke down Gattaca in the the subplot formats, and it was incredible. Um, uh, it's I feel like that movie in particular, it's very character based, so it's cool to see the subplots. I had mines <laughs> since I was 16, man. It was a, it's a past. Yeah, dude, over, over anything over 10 years is, is a long time. I think even over six years is tough for technology to kind of keep up. Um, I, I realized I clicked over to the wrong one. I was doing the character studies over there. This is the hit page that I wanted to break down. And I want to show this other finder window that should have my, there we go. So <clears throat> let's bring this. So this is how I may be doing Star Circuit 2. This is just things broken down by scene instead of page number. I'm writing the page number, but I don't believe them pretty much. I'm like, I'm pretty much keeping it as loose as possible um, structure wise. So if you look at what I have, like I just have it done by scene. Like this is the hospital. This is the race. This is the one focusing on hip and I'm not sure where they're all going to fit. If I'm going to break it up into multiple things and go Game of Thrones style where I go scene to scene and jump from um, different people to different people. I don't know if I'm going to do it that way or linear um, or go, you know, Tarantino a little bit. So I'm even keeping it loose past this point. The Everything's written out linearly, but when I'm drawing it and putting it into pages, I feel like it might be beneficial to keep it that loose for a while. Anyway, let's... Uh, Let's save out a new. Um, let's save out a new page here, because hip gets another page. Um, so that was one of the big things that I wanted to kind of structure. Like you can you can do it like and number them and have them exactly nailed down. It's a good way to go if you have a writer and an artist team. That way you're, you guys can work on the same thing um, at different levels. You know. The script and the art can be done at the same time. Uh, this, you could still do it that way. It's kind of like the Marvel method, but at a global, more global scale. Instead of doing the Marvel method per page, you're doing the Marvel method per book. You're like, here's all the scenes. We're going to reorganize them um, at the end instead of like knowing what comes after. It's hard to do transitions, and that's the only tough part is like transitioning from scene to scene is the hardest part. Uh, a part about anything when you when you have a comic book the weakest points of your comic are the transitions between scene to scene like that's when people stop reading they're like that's when they realize oh um i'm pulled out a little bit uh, i haven't really connected with the characters yet the the art is not maybe everything i want it to be and they start realizing maybe some of the flaws um, rather, if you do a seamless transition between scene to scene, there's almost no time for them to think <laughs> about maybe the flaws that are there or maybe the story if they're if they're caught up in their mind about it, uh, stuff like that. So got to work on the transition. So this is the danger. I think the danger of my method here is figuring out the transitions. I might have to redraw. You, know, you just can't go 
you know, <laughs> guy says to the girl, I'll see you later. And the next thing you know, there's like a, a random robot fight scene. It doesn't, you know, like that works only if um, you started out with some sort of previous, I don't know, uh, behind the, you know, like uh, last time on Star Circuit kind of thing where they know what's going on. It's the only way that really is effective. Uh, so let's save out a new one. Uh, let me put a new glove on. Uh, it's actually the old one, but I do have a new one for Huion. I, um, giving it to, uh, Sherry cause it fits her hand. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't fit my hand. The new, the new Huion people are, are small, small folks. All right. So let's just call it 19. Like I said, this is not really a real number. I don't know if it's going to be 19 is the point. Um, let's delete what we have cause it's a new page. Yo, yo, Lola Meets, what's going on? Yeah, this is Clip Studio. Um, it's on the top left corner. Yeah, this is, I'm, I like using Photoshop and Clip. Clip, I feel like I really enjoy doing the layouts and line art in uh, Photoshop. I feel like color just works better there too, but I end up coloring all over the place. Um, though Photoshop is great for a lot of things that are more technical um, filters and, and adjustments and all that stuff. So, um, we're going to be working, uh, trying to make a new page here. So to get to layouts, I get, I have to do thumbnails first. I don't have to, I think the best way to do, to do, I think the best process is this, at least this is the one that I've learned. And this is from Freddie Williams. I don't know if you know that dude, but he had a book out, um, about digital comic stuff and he's, uh, always been a good, uh, mentor to have for me, like just to go and ask him things. Uh, but the way he does it is he gets script. He goes script, reads the script a couple times. And then as he's reading the script and even on the page, sometimes he'll just sketch out, you know, whatever, whatever's happening, you know, like guy punching other guy <laughs> or whatever, you know, and he'll do these, these crappy, um, drawings you know, on the left or right side of the page, get the idea. And then once he has that, his thumbnail stage is pretty much make the thumbnail, which is probably something like I have in Clip Studio right now. And he's just going to grab the <clears throat> the thing. And then he arranges them on the page, like as he goes. Scales down, finds where it might work. And this is where the creative process, you know, kicks in and you're like, Oh, this guy's, he's, he's kind of facing this way. It's got to be the action shot. So maybe I, I, instead of having him so parallel, I have him come at the camera, you know, and that's where like you decide to make these decisions. You know what I mean? But, uh, it goes from that to what we call thumbnails for a lot of you guys, you know, this, and this is not really a lecture. It's just like what I think is a good way to go. Then layouts, you take this and then make something a little bit more final. Uh, it doesn't have to have great lines. Some people do really tight layouts, but this is where like everything's in place. You might even draw the bubbles, you know, but all the panels will be there. A lot of the anatomy will be there. Um, and then from there you pencil. Some people cut out a lot of this, mm, you know, but uh, Derek's here, Shadowpunk's here. Dude, Clip is pretty good, dude. Clip is a pretty good program. Uh, they're getting better. Their uh, their customer service is better than a lot of people's, I'd say. It's it's not it's not Photoshop's. It's not Adobe level of customer service, but it's it's good. They have a form at least. Um, Wolvie's here. It says uh, one of these days I might try to learn Clip, but I still know how to use PS. Uh, yeah, CS2. <laughs> um, so CS2. <laughs> that's pretty old, right? Um, cause they're way past CS6 now. Um, they're just calling it by the year. Um, little meets saying hi to peeps. Um, so yeah, this is the process that I like. I really like this script to layout or script to thumbnail process where you do this crappy little drawing and that spawns the idea for what you want, um, in your thumbnail and then later in the, in the layout. Anyway, um, 
I think that's a good way to go. This will be a good page because um, I don't really know what's happening. Like I, I went from the first page and things totally changed. And I try to keep it as open as possible. I literally had hip. I had hip in this scene eventually, like I think getting hit on or something. Some dude hitting on her. But that's totally scrapped. I, I'm not doing that anymore. I think I had an orig- I had an idea about it in a totally different direction. And now I'm, I'm changing it up. Um, so now I'm having hip do some sort of, uh, more action based. She's going to, she's pretty much going to have to use her kind of, um, she's from the slums. So she has this tech that is kind of ghetto rigged, uh, but will work. And she's going to try to hack this kind of this robot to get information. That's the idea on this page. Um, anyway, I have the thumbnails. Which, this not, won't even make sense, but I need something to, to put on the page. So I'm going to grab her page, which is literally just scribbles. It's over here, actually. Like I said, this might not even work, but we're going to try it out anyway. Wolfie says, CS2 is very old. Uh, an old GF got it for college class and gave it to me. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. I, for a long time, I had, you know, hack versions, the ones you find on, like, back in the day, like LimeWire Lime and stuff. You download them off a, a torrent, you know. But now I'm, I'm pro, so I got to pay for this stuff. Sucks. I feel like uh, thumbnails are dismissed uh, as unnecessary, but they're essential to the pro. Yeah, I think the people that don't use them, they are either been in the game so long that they're, the process is done in their mind um, or that they just don't have the, um, I don't want to say capacity, but their style of working does not compute with that much planning. Like a lot of people feel like, uh, and I've, I, I have this feeling too sometimes, if you work, <laughs> if your original gets worked over more than like twice, it starts to get stale. Um, so like if you do this one drawing and then you repeat it and do it again, even better. And then you do it again, even better than that, where it looks actually halfway decent. Um, by the time you do this, it starts to get boring. And then you do the final even more than that. And it's actually looking really tight. It, it could be super boring for that person. So they cut out the first two steps, keep it fresh and just jump right into the layouts. Um, I don't, I don't care what people do just for me. I think the coolest part is to get these. My brain doesn't work where it sees everything up front. I kind of have to sketch a crappy sketch to to realize the potential what could happen. Um, personally, I think that even if you were more experienced, that would help you. But um, some people, yeah, are, are not that range. They're not in that range of things. Um, Wolvie says, I find thumbnails uh, layout I do in the same step. Pretty important plans are great uh i find they always change when the rubber hits the road yes they always do always but um going to that flow is important cool stuff cool stuff guys hopefully i'm not bonding bonding out I'm, I'm i have the mic in a different arrangement and so hopefully i'm not like hitting the red on this mic uh let's draw a little bit of this layout shall we uh and then i want to talk we'll do 10 minutes of this and then let's talk groken 2 groken 2 is coming out very soon um, all right, so new layer, and then even though, um, actually, I'm not going to draw boxes yet. I was going to draw boxes, but since I, I'm not going to rely on my thumbnail this time <laughs> because of said total change in direction of the script, um, I'm just going to draw um, the script part again, like the shitty, the shitty drawings. Um, so let's see if I bring this up here. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, not that this one. Yeah, that's what, that, this is the page before. Okay. So I might have to change that last panel. Might not be clear enough, but Let's see if we do an over the shoulder again or something. What I'm thinking is, let's 
something like this. Maybe not even have the arm, but the shell will be like this. She's kind of like looking at the target across the way. Hmm. Like I said, this is just to spawn more ideas, really. Hmm. I don't even need to put that in there. But yeah, this is just to spawn ideas for what really will be it. Um, Okay, Derek says he's working on an art contest today for, is it for Vaughn or are you doing something totally else? Um, totally something else. <clears throat> Vaughn, I know he's got one, right? Okay, so let's see, dude. Um, I, like I said, I'm not really sure what's going to work. I'm just putting in a few different ideas of what I want. Like this will be obviously close up. I think over here I want to be have her like bump into this robot thing and plant the plant the hacking device. And this all has to be done in one page, so I don't really have the element to foreshadow stuff or things like that. All right, so this is robot, and this is hip. This is our character. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Shadow Punk asking if I always work standing up. Um, <laughs> Cuckoo Sherry's here. Um, and we're leaving at twelve. Uh, leaving at twelve. I think we're leaving before twelve think um but yeah this stream ends in 15 minutes or so or or so give or take a few minutes um yeah might go get lunch if that's what we're doing uh so joe always working standing up uh i work both i i tend to work um standing up when i have more energy but i try to default the table the the desk to be up and then i sit when i can't stand it anymore <laughs> you know what I mean? But sometimes you have so much energy that you just want to be up. I don't know if you guys feel that before. Um, I felt that before, but um, that's kind of how I approach it. I don't know if this uh, angle is going to work for the bump. But like I said, these are the shitty sketches that lead to me um actually knowing what i'm doing okay um maybe i do a moment to moment thing that could happen like if i do one where robot is you know settles back to being normal after they bump and then Kind of like drained, deactiv not to be activated, but like something happened to it. So that would be his like neck. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would show it. If you go moment to moment, that always shows things nicely. 
Also found this needed eraser, uh, era this needed eraser eraser on Clip Studio that is new to the, the like the updates they have, and it's great. I can get a nice soft erase, or I can go full and get it fully erased. Um, yeah, Shadowpunk says it's it's uh, definitely probably or not definitely probably healthier, um, and that energy gets into your work too. I think it does sometimes. Sometimes you can be running at too much of an RPM, R, uh, RPM. Like if you're, if you're just like revving so high, like sometimes you you rush, uh, and at least that's what happened to me uh, from time to time. So got to be careful of that. Don't want to get too don't want to get too revved. Um, okay, so I think we have because I don't know the script anymore. So I think it's like. This first one might not be needed. It might just be this close up of her like in a caption, like planning what she's gonna do possibly. So maybe too much, but establishing close up action uh, results, but I gotta get rid of that first. Oops. Yeah, do it. It's not that much. Even if you pay, it's not that much. Um, and they've got some things I haven't even tested out yet. Like this, uh, this library over here, these got a library of 3D stuff. Let me see if I can drag this thing over and open it. Can I just drag in some figures if I wanted to? Can I just do that? Ooh, it does work. Oh, but it's in the uh, the box or something. I don't know what's going on. All right, so drag it in. Look at that person, okay. I can grab different things. Can I pose? Yes. What? what kind of ridiculousness is this? Um, how do you change camera, bro? Uh, camera. Okay, you do it by setup. Huh. Interesting, dude. This is a this is a cheat, bro. I didn't know you could do this. Yo, this is Clip Studios 3D stuff, Oliver. I have not attempted this before. Um, shoulder. Wow. I feel like I'm cheating, bro. Um, <laughs> so the arm got stuck in here. How do you get it out? Let's go on a different side. Can you remove, can you? Hmm. Scale? No. Uh, move. Huh. I'd have to go through a lot of these tools to figure this out for sure. Um, Huh. Oh, they're up here too. Oh, there we go. They're at the top. Oh, check that out. Whoa. Can I zoom in? No. Yes. Zoom. No, let's play zoom. Oh, don't want that. Okay. Cool. This is insane. Like a little mini 3D software, dude. Yeah, what is going on here, dudes? Um, okay, so let's just say we wanted to use this lady. Well, what happened? What happened? Gotta be careful. Not sure what's happening. Scale. 
What's this do? Dolly. Rotate orbit. Okay. Preset camera. Okay, let's just say we want this. Because this is a crazy shot. Hmm. Okay. What do you do now? You just screenshot it? What do you do? I gotta use my mouse, otherwise I can't hover. Adjust body shape and size of 3D drawing. Post scanner image. Save body shape as material. Reset model, reset model rotation, revert model to default pose, flip. Register full body poses material, place model on ground level, center object, specify camera angle from preset. Huh. Okay. So I can just go over here and drop opacity on it? No? No. Yes? No. Okay, so let's just move. Okay. That shows the perspective grid. Okay. More learning here, bros. What is going on? Okay, so they give you the center line. They give you the center line, enabling you to get your brow. That's technically where your brow should be. Oh, it's 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 linking to my uh, perspective grid. I don't want that. Turn off that. Turn it off, bro. Uh, no, it's somewhere there. Turn off that. Okay. Cool. All right. So if I wanted this to be hip, from here you'd draw like this. Is this the uh, is this the way you would do it? I don't know. Maybe. It's weird because I don't know what the intended workflow is, but this is how I would do it. Modify your your three D from here. And then just flip on the opacity off and on. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Let's do this first. It's weird because like now it makes me want to have a certain direction with this. Interesting. Okay. So now if I rotate or turn this off, what happens? Hand move this, click. How do I move her again? This. Yeah, you can move her. But how do I get my controls back? Object? Yeah, there you go. Object. And if I wanted to move her, say, we would, and then have to adjust. Okay. 
Dude, El Padrino, have you ever used the uh, the 3D sh shit? I've never used it before. <clears throat> it's pretty nuts. Zinclip Studio. It's actually a pretty good tool, um, especially if you're having trouble with like a, a certain angle. Like it's it's better than probably working from photo because I don't know, you have less, it's gonna be more your art, I think, off the bat, probably. Anyway, we don't have to really keep what I'm doing. I'm just checking it out, seeing what it would be like. If I did do stuff like this. It's cool because all the landmarks are there and they put a center line in there and stuff. Um, you know, interesting. Hmm. Crazy. Crazy how this would work. Hmm. Yeah, dude, same with me. This is the first time I'm ever checking this out. This is pretty weird. Um... But I have a new computer, so I'm like, it runs, like, seamlessly. <laughs> my, co my computer couldn't run the 3D software like this before, you know? There's no way. Oh, she's wearing, like, a... She's wearing, like, a... Infinity scarf or something. interesting okay so this is pretty cool no joke i i probably will use it for more than just this it's a good way for storyboard artists to get like an easy pose you know and get what you want um though a lot of these things are all looks like they're all anime promote uh, like anime-ish proportions you know what i mean but they have like so many defaults you know they got frames Textures. This is ridiculous, dude. Hands. I guess you can download a bunch too from the cloud. Interesting. All right, guys. That's it. Um, let's look at Grokin real quick because holy shit, Grokin 2 looks awesome. Uh, I'm going to stop this screen. I'm going to save what I did just so I know where I left and uh, pull the screen off here. Um, dude, crazy software out there these days. Um, said way too much work to just to get a pose. Easier to take a picture. Yeah, maybe sometimes that you're, you're right. However, um, that was pretty quick. If you had presets set up, like that might be even quicker than you going to take a picture. Um, depends. Depends on your computer, how quick you are with this software. Um, I will be checking it out. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, let's check out Groken 2. Have you guys seen this trailer? It is uh, ridiculous. Dang, guys. Super cool. Um, so, yeah, go sign up. It launches in three days. Um, you Is there a bonus for signing up? I don't know. Either way, you want to know exactly when it comes. I'm sure there might be some secret tiers. Who knows? I think uh, Kenneth is pretty straightforward. However, uh, this is a really cool book. Um, or the first one was. And one of the best looking books out there. Go check out uh, the sign up for Groken 2. It's launching soon. 
Um, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. It's been fun. I will be doing uh, videos and I may be doing a little bit of a hiatus on streams like this, especially if I can't get StreamYard to work with anything I'm doing. It's very uh, jumpy. Hopefully it plays back okay. Um, anyway, guys, again, thanks for having uh, your, your morning with me. Uh, it's been real. I'm going to get to work on the Star Circuit um, layouts. Stoked for that. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll have uh, more stuff for you next week. We are supposed to have uh, actually um, Lucifer Storm on today, but he had to cancel. So next week we'll have him. Um, definitely have to do an interview with him. But yeah, have a good day, guys. And uh, yeah, keep drawing. I'll see you uh, on Wednesday with Jeremy.